I don't love baseball cards. You got them, got them, need them, got them, got them, got them, need them, got them, need them, need them, got them, got them, got them, got them, need them. Welcome back to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Flea Market Antique Mall Pickups video. Two dollars in an antique mall. And the cool thing about this book is my nephew recently did a school project on Jackie Robinson. And I called him up on the phone. And I said, hey bud, are you still working on that Jackie Robinson project? And he said, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really on, I already finished it, I turned it into the teacher or whatever. And I said, well, I'm looking at a real good book about Jackie Robinson here, would you like me to get it for you? And at first he was like, no, I don't, I don't really want it, I'm, I'm done with it. And a few minutes later, he calls me back after I hung up and he says, you know, I changed my mind, can you, can you get that book for me? I'll read it if you buy it for me. And I said, absolutely, buddy. Of course I'll buy it for you. So this book is actually going to be gifted to my nephew. Um, I ask you to possibly check out their channel because the deal that I made with my nephew was I told him if I buy this book, you're going to have to show it on your YouTube channel and talk about it after you finish reading it. And he said, that's a deal. So check out the YouTube channel, Hi Gavin Gabe, or their other channel, G Frazier. I'm not sure which one they'll <laughs> post it on, so I'll probably put it down in the description below. And um, I'm going to wait for them to possibly do their video before I post this video, so I can say, hey, go check out their video. So, uh, very happy to get the Jackie Robinson book. The whole purpose of why I do my channel is to help enlighten the youth in sports. Meaning, to me, this is how I learned about the great sports athletes of our time. Through a book, through the written word. I feel that that is something that is being lost with the generation of kids now that are on the internet with their iPhones or iPads or whatever. Sitting down and reading a book is very important to continue the tradition of knowing how important individuals like this are in sports not just in sports but just in American culture itself if you're watching this channel and you're a young viewer and you don't know who Jackie Robinson is I highly recommend picking up a book like this or doing some research on him and learning about what he has done for the game of baseball. That is why Remember the Great Sports exists. It's not to show what cards that I picked up in an antique ball. It's not to show, you know, who signed for me through the mail or in person or whatever. It's to continue the legacy of these great individuals and thus why I named my channel Remember the Greats. This man right here. This is one of the greatest ever. So if you get a chance, read about them. All right. <laughs> Staying on the subject of books, we will talk about some pretty cool little items. And another collector also posted some of these that he found at a flea market not too long ago. And these are the Scholastic Sports Shots Collector Books. And these are still sealed in the pack. And there are books 13 through 18. And as you can see, the seal is still on them. And not did I just buy one, but I actually bought two. And I only paid $6 each. Now, if you look at it that way, that's about a buck a book. Which, you know, roughly is what they're worth. I mean, but ask yourself this all the others that go to flea markets or antique malls how often do you see them sealed never been touched these are as mint as mint can be I mean some of the names are great in here some are not so great I mean obviously Michael Jordan you know being on the list is a great one to have Barry Sanders Jim Kelly but Bobby Bonilla eh. Roger Clemens 
Patrick Ewing. I mean, they're obviously better in the set. Uh, I happen to have like a Wayne Gretzky one laying around somewhere. I have no idea where it's at. But I saw these for six bucks a piece. Sealed. I mean, talk about mint. I mean, you can't you can't find these sealed. I mean, most of the time because they're such an odd size and they're paper thin material. You know, I mean, it's just paper. I mean, they're beat up. The corners are all dinged. They're ripped. Whatever. And to find these in mint condition like this, I had to grab them. So, another great form of literature that is no longer around. Now this next item is really unique, and I may have to cut the video just so I can show you some of the cards in it. I have never, in all my years of collecting, ever, ever seen these. And that's why, for like four or five bucks, I had to buy them. And what these are, are beer can trading cards. And as you can see, the image on the front looks like a Lou Gehrig beer can. Now, not all these are sports. I mean, they're beer cans from throughout the years. But give me one second to pause the video here, and I will resume and just kind of shuffle through the 100 card set. And it looks like there was only 8,000 of these made. So 2856 out of 8,000. The box obviously has sticker residue. It's not in the best shape, but who cares? So give me one second. I'll get my uh, card stands out, and I'll show you some of the cards that are in the set. All right, so welcome back. Um, I just finished opening up these beer cards. So I pulled all of the sports cards out that I could find, or sports-related, I should say, cards. But I'm just going to share them with you really quick here, what they look like. And I, I think this is funny because my father, <laughs> who I've mentioned in some of my previous videos, he still to this day talks about some of these beers. And he's one of those people that will, you know, if we're out, going out to eat, he might be like, hey, do you have this blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because... In today's culture, we're used to, you know, the big ones, Budweiser, Coors, you know, whatever. Um, but he'll be like, oh, um, do you have Schlitz on tap? And he's actually walked in places and ordered that before. And I'm just going to show you, you know, the stack of cards here. We're not going to go through them all. But these are the sports ones. These are the non-sports. And, you know, we got Schlitz. I mean, look, look at that beer can. It looks like a freaking oil can from back in the day i mean just various different beer cans robin hood ale i mean this is just jaguar malt liquor i mean oh there's a sport one right there we'll pull that out <laughs> miss that one and what's cool about these is when i found these this made me remember you know, my grandfather, whom I never knew, actually collected beer cans. And he, uh, at my grandmother's house, there was an old collection of beer cans. And it wasn't, it wasn't a big, big amount. It was like maybe 20 at most. And I remember messing with them, you know, at, at my grandmother's house. Um, that house is no longer in my family, so I think when we... When my mother actually wound up selling the house, I think a lot of that stuff either went to auction or it got thrown out. So, unfortunately, I don't have my grandfather's beer cans. Uh, my wife also mentioned that her grandfather used to collect beer cans as well. He used to walk around his neighborhood and, you know, look for unique cans. And he would uh, obviously recycle the ones that he didn't have. So, uh, just going through these really quick. Um, we've got the... 91 Stanley Cup champs, Pittsburgh Penguins. We've got the 75-76 basketball schedule, the Phoenix Suns, brought to you by Colt 45. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> we have Hog Brew, which I'm guessing is, uh, it was made in 91, I'm guessing that's the... Uh, Either Arkansas Razorbacks or, you know, something. I mean, he's playing football, so that'd be my guess. If I were to guess 
maybe I'm uh, missing <laughs> one. Here's Hugh Day Beer, which is a sponsor of the Cincinnati Bengals. This looks like another Pittsburgh Steelers Iron City Beer winning tradition. There's a couple Steelers players and a uh, um, couple Super Bowl trophies. Is that Franco Harris? What do you guys think? That look like Franco Harris to you? I'm thinking that's Franco Harris. And here's one near and dear to my heart. Mizzou Brew. I mean, I think many of you have uh, heard in some of my other channels that I live in Missouri. So I've actually uh, been to the University of Missouri many times. Uh, I did not go to college there, but I've been there on business. I've also gone to a couple of Missouri uh, baseball games before in the past, Missouri University games. So I thought that was cool to see Mizzou Brew in this stack. So we'll give that one a stand just for itself because I like Mizzou Brew. <laughs> Not that I've ever had it or anything, but get those in frame a little bit better. All right, and let's see, we got another Iron City beer. And I bet I got some people that are watching out there that probably drink this beer. That's that's the cool thing. If you have, comment below because that would be really neat to hear hear your story. Oh, I remember that Super Bowl champion beer. Um, this one is the University of Iowa. So Iowa Sports Premium Beer, 81-82. And it's got, you know, different sports it looks like. Basketball, football, whatever. Actually, it's not just the University of Iowa. It's got all the Iowa. I just noticed that. So Drake, the Iowa State Cyclones, I assume. Northern Iowa, University of Northern Iowa. Is that the Panthers? I may be wrong. And the Hawkeyes all holding the state of Iowa up on the beer can. That is cool. I wish I would have found a can of that when I lived up in Iowa. That would have been neat. Uh, this one, I don't know. Uh, 1975 World Champion Sensor Natty Reds. Hudipole. And it's got a baseball thing on there, but it talks about how the Reds won the World Series. And this is the one on the front of the box. Looks like Lou Gehrig. It's Casey's Lager Beer. So, can't say I've ever seen that before. And there's another Casey's Lager beer, and I think, it's hard to tell. It's another Yankee, but I can't tell which one. It's a right-handed hitter. Uh, let me get a little closer here in the white. Maybe I can... Yeah, it doesn't really say who that is. So, all you Yankees fans out there, Tell me what you think. What do you think? Uh, Ellie Howard, maybe? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to tell. But it's obviously clearly Yankee Stadium. So, oh, here's a, this is a non-sports related one, but I guess it could be considered a sport. Harley Davidson Motorcycle Beer. Daytona 1989. I don't know if that means Daytona 500 or... You know, maybe there was a Harley Davidson fest in Daytona in '89. I don't know. So I thought that one was unique. We'll throw that to the side. Not sports, really. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers again. I'm guessing Iron City Brewery. So a lot of Iron City brewers here. There's another Iron City. You can't keep on Iron Man and Iron Man down. Pittsburgh Pirates. So there's another Iron City Brewery card. Then. What else, when you think of Princeton, <laughs> do you think of a hungover Princeton Tiger? I mean, look at that. <laughs> I thought that was, that was funny, funny as heck when I saw that Princeton Tiger on that beer can. And if you look really closely, it says brewed, I can't read the uh, Anheuser-Busch. So that was an Anheuser-Busch product right there. St. Louis, Missouri. And I, I don't know, you know, obviously I don't know my beer history. Maybe there are some out there that do, but I, I just thought this was cool. This, this is probably my favorite one is the hungover Princeton Tiger. I just thought that was awesome. So uh, very, very happy to add these to the collection. I mean, the focus of my channel, you know, also is to bring these unique things out of the woodwork, so to speak. You know, I, I just... 
it just amazes me sometimes that some of the weird stuff that I find in antique malls. I mean, I didn't even know beer can cards existed, you know. And I probably would have glossed right over these if I didn't see Lou Gehrig on the cover. You know, if, if this was just, you know, sitting by itself and it had, you know, a random beer can on there, I probably would have not even noticed it. But the fact that it had the baseball player on it and the person, the booth, the vendor that I bought them from, I bought the Scholastic books from too. So there was other sports stuff in there. But talk about a unique collection of stuff. So... Very happy to add those to the collection. I think you guys really will enjoy commenting on these. So tell me what you think. Now I gotta put them back in order. All right, we are gonna take a brief break here just so I can get these put away so I don't knock them all over the floor or something. All right, finally, okay, I am to the last item and I only paid $5 for this and this was a box of 1990 sports flicks cards. Now, this Marquise Grissom card was actually attached to the box, and if you look really closely, you can see like a little part of glue right there. And if you look on the back of the card, you can see where they glued the card to stick to the box. And the idea was that you would use this as a display box. And I'll show you how you set this up like so, similar to that, and the card would stick on there so you knew what you were buying, you know, the packs of cards. I mean, going back to your local card shop, going back to, you know, wherever you bought cards, the grocery store, the gas station, wherever, how many of the YouTube family out there in the card community remember these? I saw this box and... I went back, I would have been 10 years old in 1990, or 9 going on 10, and to see this for only $5, I was like, I have to buy this box, and as you can see, you know, these are sealed packs, and I know these aren't worth a lot, guys, I mean, these are not at all rare in any way whatsoever, sorry, the card fell off there. But, as you can see, the glue didn't hold up after 28 years. <laughs> so, I don't think I would hold up after 28 years either. So, But, um, very cool, cool to see this box of cards. I, I was, this just shot me back to my childhood when I saw this box sitting in a display case at the antique mall. Uh, this wasn't the only box. There was probably, you know, about five more there. But I chose to get the Marquise Grissom because, if I'm not mistaken, this is his rookie card, believe it or not. Ooh, whoopee. A Marquise Grissom rookie card with glue on the back. <laughs> How valuable is that? I actually know for a fact, I know for a fact I have a Sports Flix card somewhere in my collection. It's probably out in my garage somewhere because I have just, you know, don't care about my Junk Wax era cards. I just kind of keep them out in the garage that I actually got the card that was glued to the box and I ripped the glue off and I ripped the whole back of the card off basically because I, I asked like the person selling the cards like, oh, can I have the card on the box? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I wound up pulling this glue off and it ripped the card. You know, I remember that card. I remember looking at that. So uh, for some of you younger viewers that are out there that uh, weren't obviously around in 1990, these were one of the coolest innovations of the 80s, in my opinion. And this is a 90 set, but they made these from, I want to say, and I'd have to do my research, I apologize, but they made these for at least, I would say, about a decade, give or take. I would say about 1984 to 94, 96, somewhere in that, you know, era. So, you know, give or take a couple of years. But the cool thing about these is the magic motion that, that went with the card. And I'm, and I'm moving it back and forth so you can kind of see how the card changes as I move it. And I don't know how well that's going to show up on the camera. Hopefully it does. I don't know. <laughs> but 
if you collected in the 90s you know exactly what these are and one of the things <laughs> this just I, i'm sorry about laughing so much i sound like a little kid here but one of the things that i know just to be a little jerk to say it nicely was if you know what this sound is Yeah, that's what the card material is made out of. I would run around the house doing that on, on some of these cards just to annoy my sisters or my parents or whatever. And I probably got smacked around for doing that. No, not literally. But, but I'm sure my parents were quite irritated with hearing that all day. <laughs> but let me know if you guys want me to open this up. Just for just for nostalgia, I'm thinking of cracking this open and just uh, sharing with you on a box break and just seeing who we pull out of there. Again, these aren't worth anything. I know they're not. I mean, I paid five dollars for them. I mean, they're obviously not worth a whole lot if I only paid five bucks for them. But these are. If you grew up in the '80s, you know what sports flicks are. I mean, how could you? This is a hobby that you know, has seen many card companies. I'm just going to throw the marquees in there so I don't lose it. But this is a card company that obviously went bye-bye. And they were unique. It was at the baseball card boom. So, you know, millions of these cards were made. So that's why they're so cheap. But if you want to collect a unique collectible back from the 80s and 90s, this would be the set to do it because... I don't think there's too many people that collect sports flicks and uh, sport flicks, excuse me, not sports, plural, but sport flicks and a uh, very unique collectible. I hope you guys have enjoyed my video. I really hope that some of these collectibles make you smile and bring you back to your childhood. I mean, these, these beer cards, I mean, I just, that's so funny. I mean, it just goes to prove that they have cards for everything that ever existed. I mean, beer card, beer can cards. Who would have ever even thought there was a market for that? And I don't know what these sell for. I only paid six bucks for them. I mean, maybe I overpaid for them. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. But for six bucks, I figured I wasn't getting hurt too much. And I thought the viewers of this channel would really enjoy seeing those. So... Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Really enjoyed shooting this video. These are some unique items. Look forward to your comments and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.